Hello everyone and welcome to a review that, I mean, I'm always excited to do these reviews, you guys, but I have got an eyeliner that I've been wanting to test out for a long while now. This is the Tarte Tardist Clay Paint Liner. I heard great things about this when it was first released and then I feel like I didn't hear about it ever again, so I need to know. I need to know how this does. So let's get right on into it. Let's hop on over to Tarte's website. We can read about the product, see what all of its claims are and how to use it because I know there's kind of like a method to the madness of this packaging and everything. And then we can get on into testing it out and see how it does slash see how my eyeliner skills are since having become accustomed to the vamp stamp. So let's go ahead, let's do that. Like I said, this is the Tarte Tardist Clay Paint Liner. It is $24 for 0.21 ounce of product and it looks like you know you do get the brush and the liner included. This is supposedly the first ever squeezable cream eyeliner where the blending tip is inspired by an artist's palette in a rich triple black shade. It is a creamy vegan eyeliner that takes the intimidation out of pigmentation with a no tug application that's as simple as squeeze, line, and define. It's got fewer waxes in it and a cushion slide technology to allow for the creamiest texture and the smoothest application. It's also supposed to be a waterproof formula and of course like most Tarte things, it's powered by Amazonian clay. So to use, you gently squeeze a pin-sized amount of product onto the blending stage surface, then you pick up a small amount of that liner using the included liner brush, and then you define your eyeliner. <laughs> Basically, you draw it on where you want to. So there you go, that is that. I am equal parts excited and nervous to test this out, but it makes me feel a lot better that you guys are gonna be here with me. So let's go ahead, let's sing the song together, and then we can go ahead and try this out. Let's test, let's test, hot mess or the best. I love this, I didn't see this before. Paint like a Tardist. <laughs> Oh, puns get me every time. So inside, we've got the brush. It's got the nice little bamboo handle and a gold ferrule, and it's like, you know, cinched or whatever. And the brush feels nice and soft. It's got a nice pointy tip. And then the tube, I mean, it's just a squeezy tube, but the real magic, I think, you know, is with this little, this little thing. <laughs> Look at it. Look at it. I don't know why I like find this so, like I just wanna put it on all of my rounded bits. <laughs> but I don't want to do that once I squeeze out some liner. So it's at a pin-sized amount. Pin-sized. Pin-sized. I can't really see what I'm doing, can I? It's hard to do this for you and for me. Pin-sized? Did it, is it coming out? Oh, yeah? No. <laughs> I can't see. I don't want to squeeze out too much. Oh! <laughs> like that. <laughs> okay, well, you live and you learn. Go ahead and get you zoomed in so that we can see how I'm doing here with application. So I'm just gonna, you know, we'll start off small. We'll just use a little baby bit of this. Is that a baby bit? I, I think. It's just been a long time since I've lined without my vamp stamp. Okay, so. Whew. Whew. <laughs> I really cannot talk when I'm doing eyeliner. It just takes all of my focus and concentration. Whew. Not awful for my first time back, right? At doing liner on my own and a gel liner at that. So I go ahead and do my other eye. So I have no idea when I had gotten that on my chin. 
<laughs> or on this part of my hand, like I'm a mess. But I think the eyeliner turned out okay. This one was a little bit thicker at the base than this one, but this is a stop while you're ahead moment, right? So I'm just gonna leave them because I think they're as close to sisterly as possible. Maybe I'm gonna try and get a little closer to my lash line on this one. There, a little better. I do like that it is a matte finish and it does look to be quite black, right? Don't know that I would say it's like the blackest black I've ever seen. It's like a little bit on the slate side, but I mean, overall, it's a black liner, you know? So there we go. It was pretty darn easy to go on and I felt like it didn't really have trouble with skipping or anything. It's a quicker drying formula, which I guess can be good and bad because, you know, it makes it harder to go over itself once it has dried down if you need to like sharpen anything up but you know I think it really did a good job of gliding on and being nice and creamy and smooth and precise with this brush so I have really no problems with application I need to go clean myself up <laughs> and also put on mascara but I'm excited to test this out with you guys and see how it lasts through my day I am testing out some stuff from pretty vulgar so if you want to see the shenanigans and whatnot that I am up to throughout my day definitely go ahead and check out that video for the vloggy bits and whatnot whatnot that will definitely be going up before this video so I'll have it linked in a card up in the corner and down below for you. So I'm gonna go ahead do the things that I said I'm gonna do. It is currently 2 38 in the afternoon. I will be verbally seeing you at the very end of the night so in any case I will see you all very soon here on YouTube land. Bye! All right hello everyone good evening it is the end of the night here. It is currently quarter after three in the morning. Like I said if you want to see everything that I was up to today Please do go ahead and check out the Pretty Vulgar review that I did before, previously, earlier, and you will see everything that happened tonight. But I'm really sad. I just looked in the mirror for the first time in a while and we we have some problems, you guys. Look at these eyeliner problems. In what world is that waterproof, huh? Not my world. Not my world at all. Oh, that makes me so sad. I mean, everything else looks decent. No, maybe not. Kind of. Oh, I mean, oh, it's fady. Oh, it's fady. No, if you touch it. Good thing I haven't been touching my eyes tonight. Oh, you guys, that makes me sad. I really liked the way that it looked. I really liked the ultra matteness of it. I just think overall I don't really like this liner, especially because you have to, or at least I feel like you have to, and I did this after I was done applying earlier today, but like having to wipe down the tube where the ink or the, you know, the liner where it squirts out and everything, having to clean that off and cleaning off the brush every time so that doesn't get like clogged and stiff and all that, you know, that might be a bit of a hassle to have to do every single day that I choose to wear liner. And then the fact that it's clearly not waterproof or fade proof like that just makes me really sad since they claimed it would be. So I'm sad to go ahead and do the pause rating, but here we go. If you're new here, you need me to reiterate pause is my rating system where I can give you guys a numerical better view of the product, how I felt about it. P stands for price, A is for application, W is for wear, and S is for shade range. So for the price, you know, I feel like it's the same kind of a price range that you can find at Sephora for these kind of liners and everything. And it does come with a brush, but I feel like you can get like pot gel liners that come with a brush. Like I know L'Oreal makes one that I really like that's really good for much cheaper. So like, is this worth the price? To me, no, only because the waterproofness and fade proofness is not there. So worth the price. I mean, I liked the look of it and the application was nice, so I guess I'll give it a two. For application, it was super smooth, super creamy. I had no problems with application at all, so I will go ahead and give it a five on application. For wear, I can't say this was really great. I mean, in some parts it hung in, so I guess I'll give it a two on that. And then the shade range, I know they make this black one. I feel like they come out with different colored ones, like in the holiday season, like they'll come out with different sets. I I know right now they've got a gold and a silver one available as well so the shade range isn't great but I guess it's kind of there so I guess I'll give it a two on that 
that as well. Wow, I think this might be getting like the worst pause rating I've ever given something. What, that's an 11 out of 20? Or a 2.75 out of 5 pause? Uh, I personally wouldn't recommend it. Like I said, I just feel like there's so many better, just as quick, just as easy, but like you don't have to worry about the messy cleanup and everything like felt tip liners. You know, there's the Kat Von D tattoo liner at the drugstore. There's that L'Oreal gel one that I mentioned. Like I just... I feel like there's better products out there. I'm sorry, Tarte, I love you, but I just didn't care for this liner. It really didn't do that great for me. So as always, I just hope this review was helpful and or enjoyable for you guys in seeing whether or not you are gonna wanna go ahead and try out this liner for yourself. If it was, please do go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate it. And if you're new here, Hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content from me in the future. I would love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!